Okay, so another one of my artists decided to send me over a candle. This one's a Woodward candle from, what is, I think it was called like Yankee Candles. I never actually had a candle from Yankee Candles, but it's a Woodward candle and it smells fantastic. It actually smells like a, uh, a new haircut, plus like a scent, an old scent your mom used to burn in your home. But because it's a Woodward, um, a Woodward candle, it's definitely gonna have some crackling, some crackalacking going on. And and if you don't want to hit a crack of lacking throughout the video, then you get out of here. But if you do want to hit a crack of lacking as we talk about some stuff here, then you're in the best place to be because we got some good stuff to talk about. So <laughs> in today's video, I'm literally going to be sharing what I believe is the easiest artwork to sell. Now, this is for beginners, right? If you're pretty advanced, you probably want to stick to the artwork you created and the artwork you enjoy the most. But if you're not, then like I just mentioned, if you're looking to just sell some art, then this video is the place to be because I'm gonna share exactly what artwork sells the most. And you probably could trust my answer just because in the past two to three years, I've probably helped over 500 artists sell art online from one-on-one -on -one coaching all the way up to working in group settings. So let's say I probably know a thing or two about what sells the most. If you're new here, my name is Jeroy Henry and I help visual artists like yourself sell artwork online and sell artwork consistently and sell a lot of it. I mean a real lot. But more importantly, the goal here is to teach you so much and give you so much value from this channel that you obviously want to schedule a call and work with me directly if I'm being upfront. But, <laughs> but since you're here, definitely subscribe and leave a like and do all the other stuff these YouTubers talk about and it's gonna be a good video. So let's get into it. So watching this video, you probably already have a style you created and then you probably don't. But the goal is not for you to drop what you already doing and love creating, just to transition and do what I talk about so you can start making sales. The goal is for those new artists to start getting the ball rolling, getting what we call your feet wet and you're making some sales so you're bringing in income to get in a more comfortable position to then focus on the art you really enjoy, right? So we're gonna talk about that here, I suggest put about two minutes aside. <laughs> this may be way longer than two minutes, but anyway, let's get into it. So here's the thing. When it comes to selling artwork and working with so many artists, what I've noticed to sell the most is commission work. For some reason, people just love getting their family and their dogs and their homes and their boats and their cars and their shoes and whatever else painted or drawn. So with that being said, if you do commission work, you will instantly begin to sell artwork. However, it's not the most enjoyable thing to do. Now, this is what I recommend while you do commission work, and we'll talk about why I recommend these things as well. I recommend that when you're doing commission work, you're also adding your own spazazz to it. But now, what do I mean by this? This is my artist, Danielle Tomlinson. And as you can see, this is most likely a commission work Danielle Tomlinson did. However, for this commission work, they have her own little spazazz ba -ba to it. Now, why? Because when you do a commission work, you cannot sell that work again and again and again. However, when you make that work to be a very unique work, and it's not just a traditional commission, you have some type of elements added to the artwork to make it different, it stands on its own. It could even be seen as an original. And however, when you do this, those pieces hold more value. And they don't just hold more value, but they're easily resellable. Now, what I mean by this, if you could get permission from the buyer you could do one commission sell it 500 bucks whatever you decide to charge and then create 10 prints and sell those 10 prints for 100 bucks each and now you made an additional thousand dollars on top of the 500 dollars sale now i'm even talking about how you could go about doing this but that's the goal the goal is to create a commission piece right but also make it unique and creative to where it stands as an original and i see my artists do this currently and they do it extremely well and i'm gonna just lay everything out on the table here what i see sell more than anything i mean more than anything is pet portraits so if you're doing pet portraits for some reason people get their pet painted before they even get their child painted it's interesting but pet portraits do extremely extremely well now what does this mean do this mean once again drop everything and start doing pet portraits heck no that do not mean that however if you're a new artist and let's say you want to start bringing that additional thousand two thousand three thousand dollars per month then it's actually not a bad idea to on the side do some commission work with a little bit of pizzazz 
and start bringing in that extra income so now you're in a more comfortable position while also creating the work you truly love and building a career around the artwork you truly love right now that we're here i want to talk about how to actually generate those sales from those artworks so here's the thing the beautiful thing about commission work is they actually sell themselves so they may be thinking oh my god this is a beautiful piece i wonder if they'll do my dog rough rough like have my dog rough rough painted and hanged on the wall right <laughs> but Interestingly, that's actually how it works. People see other dogs or cats or cows, whatever your pet may be. They see those pets getting painted and then they want those paintings from themselves. They put themselves in that buyer's shoes. So the sale become really, really easy. Now here's where it gets interesting. I'm gonna talk a little bit about sales to make sure you actually close the sale here. Now when someone messages you and they say, oh my God, hey, let's say your name is Jazz. They say, hey Jazz, I love the painting you did of Susie's dog. Can you also paint my dog? And then you say, yeah, I would love to paint your dog. And then afterwards, once you get into conversation, they're gonna ask about the price, you tell them the price. They're most likely gonna purchase if they can afford it, but what happens if they can't afford it, right? Here's where it gets interesting. Now, in that case, most likely they want their dog painted, but they also love the work itself. So then at that point, you have two options. You can sell them a print because keep in mind, we already discussed that because the auric is very unique, even though it's a commission, it could still stand on its own as an original. So you could say, hey, I understand you want your dog painted and I understand it's a bit too expensive, but if you still will have a beautiful piece in your home, you could actually purchase one of these as a print and then you will still get the same effect it just wouldn't be rough rough right now most of the time people will actually say no some people will actually say yeah and believe it or not i watched a ton of people even say yeah to this what gets interesting is those people that actually say no in that case you could actually do a smaller piece and then the way you will go about selling that smaller piece is just going to say hey i would love to paint rough rough however because this is the price i don't negotiate on price we do not negotiate on price, right? <laughs> but with that being said, you're gonna just say, um, because the price is the price and I cannot charge any less, I'll be more than happy to do a smaller work to still have the crazy amount of detail you see. It'll still be a beautiful piece and it actually meets your budget. And then the next thing you know, they agree to it and then you're painting rough, rough. Now, this is what I see happening. If you're currently making absolutely zero, they come to selling your artwork you can start doing these commission works posting them online and you're going to see people come to you to purchase those works once they come to you you could easily be selling anywhere from a hundred to i see some of my artists even sell upwards of a thousand bucks for a commission piece right you sell just three of those in a month let's say at 500 bucks each just an additional 1500 bucks that month right now, here's the thing. Another reason you want to get creative with these pieces, because here's the thing. If you just do a hyper-realistic portrait, then it's going to take way longer to complete. However, if you get a bit creative, you will complete that artwork much, much faster. For example, my artist, Danielle Thomason, which I'm going to show here again, because her pieces are really creative, it don't take her nearly as long as some of my other artists who create hyper-realistic paintings of animals or portraiture right so here's the thing if you're not making sales at the moment and you want to instantly get the ball rolling and do commission work and don't only just do commission work but put your own twist on it get creative right and then from there do those creative commission works that's going to draw interest just from other people and also from that interest that's going to lead to sales a last quick tip will also be to get specific don't do dogs cars cats and cows Right? If you're gonna stick with cows, only do commissions of cows. <laughs> but seriously, get specific because the more specific you are, it'll be easier to target that audience, which we could save that for another day. But with that being said, if you wanna instantly start making an additional one to 3,000 per month, just bringing in money, creating art, this is what you should do. This is what I recommend. If you're a more advanced artist, you probably shouldn't switch away from what you're currently doing to start doing commission work. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Gerard Henry. You should definitely subscribe because I'm going to be sharing a lot of these cool topics that literally no one is talking about online so you can get the ball rolling and start making sales hopefully really, really soon. With that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.